Hey YouTube, welcome back. I have another huge purchase to go through with everyone. Uh, some other stuff that I've purchased over the last few months. As I stated before, I had uh, a part one and part two of my, uh, my other purchases that I had. And um, I'm probably gonna have to do that again with this one or I'm gonna try to make it all in one. We'll go ahead and see it time-wise, but this is another purchase that I had. So I'm essentially had to split it up into several parts. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started and I'll, I'll show you guys what I what I got. So to start off, with, I got a bunch of just, it's essentially it's a collection, but um, I got a bunch of Japanese regular cards from, you know, bunch of different sets. The conditions range um, for these, there's even rares in here. Um, I started putting some of them up front. But uh, the conditions range. Um, this pile being, you know, the excellent to mint, or this being, you know, the near mint to mint ones, um, and some of them um, that are sleeved, which is pretty cool. Um, I also got, as you saw before, my first one, I got a bunch of vending series cards. I actually took them all out of those binders, and then I even got even more out of the next uh, box that finally came in the mail today. Um, even more vending series. These are all, you know, near mint to mint condition, so uh, I'm probably going to have them in. I don't need them. Because um, I've already completed the vending series before. So I'll probably end up selling this as a lot or whatever. So if you're interested before the sale video, um, definitely hit me up for that. In addition, it also came with uh, a bunch of uh, okay condition to you know near mint condition hollows. I haven't sleeved them or anything. I'm not sure if I'm going to. But uh, we'll go through them real quick for you. Um, I am going to be selling them all for a buck each, these ones at least. Um, I know I have other ones that I am currently selling that are probably identical, but these ones, because of the condition and they weren't sleeved when I got them, um, these were just extras, which is pretty cool. Um, I am just going to sell them for a dollar a piece. Um, no questions asked. The condition is what you get. Some of them have creases. Some of them are near mint to mint. Obviously, I can, uh, give you a little bit better detail. I mean, there's even Game Boy ones in here. Arcanine and Mew. But uh, yeah, a dollar each. I mean, it's hard to complain about a dollar card, hollow. But yeah, there's also, I also got some uh, nicer condition ones. Um, some that I will be going through. Um, and selling away as well. Not all of these are mint, but uh, each of them have their own issues that are in this section. But I, I will be selling them for a decent, you know, price. Not, you know, expensive. This one is mint, though. And then I also got this, which is nice and near mint to mint, I believe. And then I also have uh, some extras of the T promos. I think that's what they're called. I forgot what they're called, but they're volume promos or whatever. In Japan, these are the EB ones. Um, but I'll show you the purchase, and I'll eventually go through uh, a sale video this weekend for you guys and describe a little bit better in, in better detail what's wrong with them. And I also got this one, which has a little bit bent top corner and a little bit edge wear. But uh, very very cool first edition star card, which is awesome. But anyways, those are the you know the random one offs. They're not the great cards that I got. But still, very, very cool to get these in this lot. And then, obviously, everything else, which I will go ahead and show you guys. So first up, um, I'm going to just start off with a little shocker, which is the VS. Um, and I know a lot of you guys are probably saying, oh, you already showed us that. You don't have another one. You're just, you're just lying. Well, if you remember, the first one I showed you guys from my first video was actually sealed in a sealant uh, bag. And that's right here. So I actually have two. I will be selling one. One's already up for sale. I've already put it in my sale video before. Um, so, and I already have it online to be sold, which is pretty cool. Uh, next up, I think this is all I have of these. Yes, it is. Next up, I got a uh, sealed CD promo set. It doesn't come with a CD, but it has the cards, and they're all mint, which is awesome. And it also has a English card in there. Which is awesome. cool. Which I'll also be selling eventually, potentially. Also more purchased, I got a VS, 
very, very cool. And you guys probably wondered, oh, you picked that up a little bit differently. Yeah, well, there's another one. And there's a third one. Check that out. All three. I believe I've already opened one of these up. I'm going to have to go through my stuff to find out if I do. Um, if I haven't, I'm just, I'm, I am going to open one up on camera and keep the cards. If not, then there are all three will be up for sale eventually. Um, next up, keeping up with the, the sealed items. Um, before I showed you guys that I had two Shadowless base set booster packs, well, finally the rest came in, or at least the majority of the rest came in. So I have three Blastoise now. As you can see, they're all Shadowless, all sealed. These came out of an actual Shadowless box, from what I've been told. I do still need to complete the set, but I'd rather sell these, make some money. So those will eventually head to my sale video as well, which you'll hear a lot out of this video. Next up, I've got some awesome, cool Japanese McDonald's stuff, which, come on, is just amazing. So first off, we'll start off with the uh, not-so-rare, normal uh, mini set, McDonald's 2002. These are the ones that you can get, you know, the Pikachu, Chikorita. You've seen my set, my um, PSA cards that I had. Comes with the awesome, cool Pikachu, which people love. Um, these two are obviously nice and sealed, nice and brand new. These will eventually make their way into my sale video this weekend. Uh, next up, we'll go into even rarer ones. We've got two of the also 2002. I believe these are all from, whoopsies. 2002 is when they did all their like cool promotions as you can see right here. It says 2002 Bam Also here this one also says 2002 as well So this is the first release of this type of mini e-series or McDonald's set T or they're like they're called like the P promos or whatnot on uh, Bulbapedia, but very very cool so Got those two right there. Obviously you got these two so it's like, this came out first, I believe. I actually don't know which one came out first, but I'm pretty sure these ones came out uh, last, I believe. And these ones came out, or one of like, this was the first set. And then once the set was done, uh, there's only so many cards in this one. They released the second version or the second part, which were these packs. Um, these are the even rarer ones. And these are the ones that you could get that Sunset Mew uh, in, or that's what a lot of people call it. It is the Mew card. Um, these ones, these packs are sealed. Um, I checked them. They're not tampered with or anything, which is good. Um, I haven't decided. I know I'm going to sell those, these ones, because I've already completed the set, and I think I'm almost done with that. Um, but I'm still deciding on whether or not I want to sell these or open them up so uh comment below let me know what you want to want um if i am going to sell them it's probably going to be for at least 100 bucks i know there's one for ebay for like 140 but i don't think that's going to sell i think they're more worth um around 100 dollars. i know i paid pretty a pretty hefty penny for these so i'm not going to be making too much money if i do end up selling them for 100 but still very very cool find um and that is kind of it for the sealed items um, next up, we're going straight on to uh, um, pretty much absolute epicness, which I'm going to probably shock, hopefully everyone, I hope I should sh absolutely shock everyone, which would make my day. So, I'm going to have to go out real quick and sort some of these out so I don't repeat what I've uh, shown people already. Um, I'm kind of going through a list of what I showed in the first binder just real quick just to make sure that this was the right item. I'm not showing them multiple times. Yeah, perfect. So obviously you guys, here is my lot from those first two binders that you saw in the first video. All those amazing, cool, epic cards that you saw there. I actually got all the ones that I wanted. And then I was also able to confirm that I had the full uh, Not A Walk uh, set. All six cards. 
they're all very very good condition and then I also confirmed that I had the Misaki set minus that pass card or whatnot so I just recently got in more epicness and I'm not sure which ones will be for sale or not uh, those will be in my sale video but I'm gonna go through them these are the Japanese um, legend cards these are not all of them I think it's only like a total of half the actual set and these ones are in uh, you know excellent near mint condition um, didn't pay too much for these at all as you can see now we're getting on to some <laughs> cooler cards and I forgot this was next but check this out this is a crystal first edition card and this is absolutely mint like perfect very very cool find these uh these have actually been very very rare but they they the the prices range drastically sometimes they go for a ton of money sometimes they don't um anyways next up i've got the uh the actual two ladios and ladias vs lotto odd like from essentially that deck that you saw before which is pretty cool and then the an extra card from that deck next up we've got some uh they're called gotta make sure i do this right they're called the play promos or they're the play so they have this little p in the bottom i don't know what they're from i haven't done research on them but these were extras what i was mainly bidding on were these the EXs, the Moltres, Zapdos, Lugia. I got two Lugias, which are amazing cards. One of them's in uh, okay condition. The other one's in the, the nice mint condition that I wanted. And then I got some other extras as well, which are pretty cool. Very, very nice. Also got a Golem EX. Very, very nice condition card there. I gotta make sure I do these ones right. Okay. okay. Got. Uh, I thought I had more. Somewhere in here. Oh, there it is. Sorry about that. I'm trying to make sure I'm uh, showing these in a in a good good order. So I got uh, a Charizard EX Japanese. This one's got a little bit of line through it. Some edge wear on it. This one's in better condition. Is actually I would say mint, near mint to mint, which is pretty cool. And this is an unlimited version. Then I've got some uh first edition of the Blastoise. This one I would say would be near mint condition. Uh, a Venusaur, which I'm pretty sure was in the near mint, yeah, near mint condition. And then of course Lastly, but not least, the Charizard First Edition. You can see it right there. And this one is in mint condition, which is awesome. Very, very happy with that find. I also got some other cards that came with it as well. Got a Muck, Amphros, First Edition. We've got two level X's. One's First Edition, one is a promo, I believe it is. Next up, I also got a mint birthday Pikachu, another one, which is awesome. Hoping to get that graded eventually. Going on to some of my Mew cards that I picked up. Got a Southern Island Reverse. Not in the best condition, I would say it's probably like excellent. Then I picked up this card. Um, it's in uh, excellent condition, I would say. Excellent to near mint. It's got some scratches, as you can see. But the very cool thing is, I actually didn't know it. This actually came in a lot of two cards. Um, a Korokor Mew and this one. And I couldn't see it before, but it's hard to see. But if you can read that, it's spelled wrong. So it is the error version. Not mint, like I'm looking for, but a very, very cool find. I'm not sure if I'll keep it, though, but still very, very nice. Um, and then hold on one second. I got to pull these together just so it makes sense what I'm doing next. Don't want it to come out all crazy. Uh, 
Okie dokie, perfect. So I got some other Mews. Um, a new uh, promo Mew that just came out. Very, very cool. I got another Fossil Mew. And then a McDonald's promo Mew. You see the little McDonald's down there. Pretty cool. Got to get myself some more of those in uh, mint condition. I think that one's near mint. Next up, I actually purchased a lot of two. Um, I'm trying to find out real quick. Okay, figured it out. It was hard to see, but I purchased a lot of two of uh, the Sunset Muse. Very, very cool. One is mint, this one right here. And they both look mint in the actual pictures. But if you can tell, you see that? It's got the little corner up there. So, very, very cool. And then, one, two, three. So, you guys know I like my uh, Core Core Muse, right? If anyone knows, well, if anyone doesn't believe me, actually, and so uh, I like wasting people's time with my videos. Just so people uh, who don't believe me can see, I still have the biggest PSA collection of Core Core Muse. I still have three PSA 9s. There's one, two, and three. I did not sell all of them like some people thought. I also have still three PSA 10s out of the 21 that have been graded PSA 10s. I think it's 21 or 23. There's your three. One, two, three. Very, very cool. I also have, if I can pull this out real quick, you guys can bear with me. I actually have five sealed Core Core Muse. I know it doesn't look like it, but there's four. Actually, I think I only have four, actually. Never mind. I have four. I thought I had five. I only have four, but still four. Unless I'm wrong, unless there's. Nope, there's only two in that one. Make sure I got these right. Two in that one. Perfect. Four sealed ones, which are very, very, very hard to and very, very hard to find. In fact, I've uh, I don't think I've uh, lost a bid to those. But anyways, I sold a few of my PSA cards and uh, decided to uh, pick up some more. So uh, let's go through the new ones I picked up. These are all in near mint to mint condition. Picked up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14 and 15. So as you can see, I have added another 15 to my collection, which brings my total up to, what is that? 15 plus 6, 21 plus 4, 25. Core Core Muse. Um, some of these will be for sale. Um, the ones that do not meet my standard of at least getting a PSA 8 or above. And those will um, find their way into my sale videos. So, pretty excited for that. So, moving on. I have my cards organized out. So, I'm going through to the next portion, which are my gold stars that I picked up. This one is a first edition Trico. This is a, a limited Torchic. First edition Mudkip. First edition Alakazam. Unlimited Mewtwo. Unlimited Pikachu, which I'm so happy I was able to get one of these. We got a first edition Groudon. 
first edition Raikou, another unlimited Mewtwo, a Jolteon Gold Star. Very, very hard to find one of these. Pretty rare and very expensive to get. Here we go, another Mewtwo, unlimited. I don't think I have a first edition yet. First edition Alakazam, another Pikachu. And no, don't ask me if any of these are for trade yet or sale. I'm not sure what I will be doing with them. First edition Metagross. Latios. Or Latias and Latios. I don't remember which one's which. I'm sorry. Requaza. No, it's not first edition. Sorry, all those people who about gassed. I don't have the money to, <laughs> to buy one of those. <laughs> and we got a Kyogre. So, epic gold stars right there. Very, very cool. I'm very happy I picked those up. Um, and as you guys saw before, uh, let me get these out real quick. And set apart from what I was, other stuff I'm going to show you. Okay, okay. Perfect. So, these are those T promos or P promos that have come out which are very very cool here is a set of the Loudred and one here is the Larvitar and one and the Tyranitar one here is the uh, oops that kind of got mixed up didn't it here's the one that you saw before these are the mint ones that I have uh, the Articuno Zapdos and Moltres and here is the secondary one, or like first starter evolution, Ivysaur, Charmeleon, and War Turtle. We've got a Bayleaf, Quilava, and Croconaw. One that's very, very popular. No, this is not the one that was on eBay. We got the Dragonite, Rotini. And Dragonair. And here, oh, it was the Eevee one, not the Moltres one. My bad. Sorry. Jolteon. Vaporeon. Flareon. Then we got the War Turtle. Ivysaur and Charmeleon. And that one. And I think that, what was my second set of that? Was that? Yes, it was. So I got two of those sets. Very, very cool. Coming up to some of our final items. We've got a VS Scizor. Pretty, pretty cool card. Very popular card that's been graded quite a bit lately. It is the Pichu Bros or the Pichu. Very, very cool. I really wanted one. I was so jealous when I saw it was getting graded by Silver Snorlax. So I picked myself up one. We've got the Festa Pikachus. I think I have three of them. These are very hard to come by, and and uh, they do sell for a, a pretty penny. Um, not like anything that you would think, you know, 30 to 50 bucks, depending on uh, seller, buyer, and whatnot, time frame. We also got the other Festa, I think this is what, the Crystal Energy. Then we have the, uh, you've seen this before on my channel probably, this is the... Um, JR Rally set. We got the Celebi. We got the Lugia. Entei. Mewtwo. And Pichu. And I think that, what, how many cards is in that one? Let's see. Do, 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 do. Is that one, two, three, four, five? I think I'm missing one on that one. Yeah, must have fallen out. Oops, there it is. I'm like, that doesn't make sense. I'm missing a Pikachu. There you are, Pikachu. Gotta like those cards. And then, if you thought that was cool, I actually have them sealed. Hit the Lugia sealed. Pikachu sealed. Uh, me too. I don't know why I just drew a blank. My bad. Ente, Pichu, and Celebi. And we also have a 
Another Pichu Bros, but this one is sealed. You can see in the back, it's got its original backing to it, which is awesome. Absolutely awesome. I thought I had another card to show you guys, but I don't know where I put it. I think I put it when I was mixing these piles from the one before. I'm going to quickly see if I can uh, locate it. If I cannot, that is okay and fine. Oh, and by the way, I actually have... I lied before. Uh, where you go, man? I do have another uh, core for meal. It's in this other lot of cards, but I can't find it right now. So I actually have 26, so my bad. Anyways, that is all of the cards I have to show you guys. Pretty cool items. Very, very happy with those. Let me know what you guys think. Um, hopefully I'll have some more epic purchases, more stuff that I'll be able to uh, ship and sell to people. Obviously, if you don't remember, if you stuck around this long, let me know what you want me to do with these two uh, packs. Open them or sell them. Your choice. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for those users who uh, stuck around for the, uh, the full video. And I will be uh, finally ending my other raffle that I had before. Don't think I forgot. I did not forget. I just got caught up with stuff and I'm finally catching up to doing all the things I wanted to do before. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, stay tuned for some epic openings to come. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.